Torah. This year is entitled Rabbinic Ordination Today, Part 2, Video 823. We discussed the basic concept of renewing smicha ordination today, according to the Rambam. The, uh, all, for all the rabbis, the Gedol Hador, get together in Israel and give uh, someone ordination. That would be considered to be proper, full smicha, and he would have the total rights of any rabbi that we've had in Jewish history that receives smicha. The original smicha chain run from Yahshua, from Moshe to Yahshua and down, and it was destroyed during the uh, Roman uh, leadership. And that was their intention to destroy the Mesora. And the Ram says it could be recreated, as we discussed in video number 823. Why did the Ram maintain such a thing? Where did he get this idea from? That it could be renewed. Why did he think that? So the Raman writes in his commentary to Sanhedrin, his page to Mishnah to Sanhedrin in chapter 1, he writes that he thinks it has to be that way. Why? Because we know that the smicha, or nation, has been destroyed. The Masora tradition has stopped. But we do know there's going to be a messianic era, and all the mitzvah will return one day, including the Sanhedrin, the power of the Beit Din with all the authority that they ever had before. Now, how's that going to work? Hashiva Shavtinu Rishona. The Shoftim will return. But how are they going to return to the way they were, where they could judge all cases under full authority? They won't have Smicha. The fact that it's a Messianic era, we have the Beit Din around, we have Mashiach, it's all beautiful. But we don't have the chain. It's broken. The tradition of Smicha from Moshe to Yeshua and down is broken. So it's very nice we have the Gedolim all together. We have the Sanhedrin and 70 great rabbis. There's no smicha. So the Rambam says, of course, of this glaring problem, yearly, it seems to me, he says, that there's a way to renew it. It's not easy to get all the Gedolim in Israel together. Not simple in terms of the Metzius, to to have such a thing done. But in terms of the concept, the Rambam says it has to be a way to renew the smicha. Otherwise, how are you ever going to get back to Hashiva or Shoftim of Rishna, returning the church to the way they were? So in the Parish Mishnah, he says this. In his room, when he was a little bit younger, in the Mishnah Torah, he writes this again in chapter 4 in Sanhedrin, like we discussed in the previous year. And, but in, in the Mishnah Torah, he writes... Bedavid Zorachach needs a final decision. It means it seems like he was not totally convinced. Although he seemed to be more convinced he is early when he wrote the commentary on the Mishnahis. The Radvaz on the Rambam writes, hold on. The rabbis tried to do this in Sfatfa in the 1500s. And he, the Radvaz, was asked in, in Egypt. And he says he did not go for it. And the rabbis in uh, Egypt did not go for it, and some rabbis in Yerushalayim did not go for it, therefore did not get after the ground, for two reasons. One, once you don't have all the rabbis in Israel agreeing to it, then you're lacking one ingredient. And two, who says that that's how we paskin? Who says we paskin? We hold that you need all the rabbis. Once you have all the rabbis, you could restart this micha process. Who says that the rabbi himself wasn't convinced of it? So therefore, the Radbaz says, you cannot take that Rambam and make it into law. So what's going to be? What about the Rambam's taina, his argument? We're not going to have smicha ever again. Even when the judges come back again and have Sanhedrin back, we won't have smicha. And what about Hashim or Shoftim and Karishana? The idea we are going to have the Shoftim back again. What are you going to do about that idea? So the Radbaz says, we're going to have Eliyahu. And Eliyahu had smicha. He was certainly well before the Romans, so he was part of the chain from Moshe to Yeshua, and then he was there for hundreds of years later in Israel. And when he comes back again, so Eliyahu will come back, he will have had smicha already, and he could renew it. Radvaz is maybe Ibn Eruvain. There's another story of other sources that talk about Ibn Eruvain coming back. Ibn Eruvain also a part of the smicha process. And therefore, we don't need to go ahead and settle for the Rambam's idea that the idea you could renew it through all the Gadolim. You don't have to go that way. 
Could be, we Ram doesn't comment, not that I've seen, could be the Ram Ram doesn't like this idea that someone who lived and he died, now is he still considered a musmach, this new portion of a trace of Mason. Could be the Ram Ram wasn't totally satisfied with that idea, and therefore he went for this idea. But be that as it may, my major machloka between the commentaries, whether a, all the gedolim get together, can that renew the smicha? Uh, or not. You need to have someone who is musbach, and God will work that out to create that, recreate the chain, but, but not by starting it fresh, but by just having someone from history go ahead who had smicha, he'll be back on the scene, and he will give smicha again. What's the psak? We don't know. How will things come out? We don't know. Mir Hashem, Mir who speedily in our days, we'll all find out exactly how the Sanhedrin is going to be restored to its beautiful and proper role. Shall